following the death of Susan Mayo and the arrest of her son, Nathaniel Sebastian. Investigators are now looking into the death of his infant sibling, which they're now calling suspicious. The death happened years ago, but investigators have plenty of questions. This new information comes one day after new details were revealed in court about Mayo's death. News 5's Cameron Edgeworth joins us live from the Sheriff's Office in Wilmer. And Cameron, what else were you able to learn today from investigators? Mobile County investigators are looking into the death of Nathaniel Sebastian's younger sibling. The infant died more than 20 years ago while Sebastian was grade school age. The death is being described as suspicious. It's our understanding from, from one of the parties that reached out to us that the child was in the sole care of Nathaniel at the time, and it was an unexpected death. Investigators are working to learn more about the details surrounding the infant's death. We don't know the whole circumstances because we've yet to be able to track down a report you know, or, or reach out you know, to investigators who may, may have worked it and we don't know that if law enforcement was involved in, you know, in the case. Birch says they do not know the age of the infant or whether the younger sibling was a boy or a girl. Mobile investigators are also looking into the relationship Sebastian had with his mother. Birch could not give many details but explain why he feels it could have been inappropriate. Based on some comments that, that Nathaniel made and that other friends and family made. Birch tells HLN that allegations of an incestuous relationship is a possibility. He says Mayo ran Sebastian's ex-girlfriend off because she did not want her around. And that was News 5's Cameron Edgeworth reporting. Right now, Sebastian is in Metro Jail. As soon as we learn new details about this case, we'll share them with you on air online and with our mobile app.